Hey y'all, Swifty7 coming back at you with another NHL 23 official gameplay reaction trailer. We covered the reveal trailer and this time we'll cover the gameplay trailer. This is what we are looking for. This is what we want to see. Let's see how EA does this time. Hopefully we get some clarification and answers on a few things that I had concerns about. Uh, from my last video being the falling and shooting. Maybe we'll see how rare it is, how, you know, frequent it is. I hope not very frequent that you just fall and shoot every time or fall and pass. You know, uh, another concern, you know, flipping the puck up behind the net. That's, that's, that's a major concern for me too. And maybe we'll get some, a goaltender, uh, the less animations, the better at this point. There's so many animations now, and, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what uh, EA decides to do here, so let's get into it. Welcome to the EA Sports NHL 23 Gameplay Deep Dive. We're excited to show you some all-new features, like last chance puck movement, okay. real-time strategies, okay. X-Factor updates, and oh, more. Oh, great. Last chance puck movement is a new series of desperation gameplay animations that like. add an extra layer of authenticity and excitement to the game. Authenticity? What? What are you, authenticity? What? You know how rare it is for people, like players to pull off this, these kind of moves? Authenticity, I, okay, I can't wait to see this. Now, if you receive any level of contact, from light bumps to heavy shoves, you'll still be able to react. Oh, okay, hold on. Previously, when this happened, there was a loss of offensive player control to reward Okay, deep. well, I guess it does depend on how hard the hit is, but if you're getting laid out and you can still make a pass or play like the last trailer, the guy was diving, making a shot. So hold on, no, hold on. Let's let's watch that a little more. never really felt authentic and mostly impeded the action. We okay. wanted to fix that to keep the flow of the That's game fine. moving. That's fine. That's fine. That is fine. But if I'm seeing a diving shot, then I have an issue. To create more dynamic and unique plays. That's fine. We've also added a new mechanic where if you double tap, either shoot or pass while skating towards a loose puck. Okay, that that one. That I don't know how the physics work on that immediately, but. It, it, okay. You'll be able to make a diving desperation attempt at the puck. Okay. Oh. At least there's a button combination for it too. To make all these new desperation animations feel authentic, we focused on replicating real world examples seen in the NHL. Okay. And what started is a small set of 25 animations. Okay, but okay. Like, let's go back for a second here. Hold on. Examples seen in the NHL. And what starts seen in the NHL? Okay, hold on. Okay, whatever. Keep going. Small set of 25 That's animations fine. expanded to the over 500 you'll find in the game. Okay. It's I don't... also important for us to ensure the feature is balanced. So we added these moves in like defensive that, that's, situations that's just as well. ridiculous. Oh, okay. And if a defensive player is in a good position, those desperation plays can be easily countered. To ensure authenticity, we try See, to I, keep I don't, going. I don't, I don't love the laying out. Like, if you get laid out, I don't love the animations. That That's maybe for smaller bumps. You know how bumping is, is a problem? That's fine. The smaller thing's fine. But, like, full out diving, shooting, passing, full out diving. Like, that is where I have an issue with. The smaller bumps... That's going to actually help skill level. You know, bumping is a major problem, like like they showed earlier. In 22, you bump the puck a little bit, and then you lose it. But here, it's a lot better, a lot smoother uh, when, like, when you get bumped just a tad. But if you get laid out, you shouldn't be able to do this kind of stuff. As much as possible before resorting to these like, that's compromised fine. Well, and that's, ideal shots. I... Strategies. To help give you okay. more control over the action, we've updated our strategies across the board. We've added two new strategies to NHL 23. The first being the 1 3 1 power play, and on okay. the penalty kill, we've added the 1 1 2. This doesn't affect you might sixes. Know it's triangle plus one or wedge plus one. Okay. It serves as a good counter to the 1 3 1. We've also added the ability to rearrange the player positions before and after the faceoff, which will increase your ability to set up plays. Okay. Plus, you can now assign three different roles on the power play well, distributor, finisher, and puck carrier. The AI will know who to distribute the puck to based on their role, position, situation, and X-Factor tendencies. 
We also added a new feature this year called Assisted Strategies. These will pop up in-game and let you know when there's an opportunity for your strategy to shift on the fly and give you a better chance to either get back into or finish the game. X factors are our most significant. Okay, okay, okay. Before we get into X factors, just want to touch on that a little bit. I didn't have much to say. It doesn't really affect from a sixes standpoint, like changing strategies. You know, I guess for Hut, and I guess I'm I'm not sure how the Hut community is going to react, but um, you know, from my perspective here, I guess the more customization of strategies, the better. You know, adding these new elements in could help and revolutionize gameplay a bit. I'm not sure. I'm not a hut guy. Don't crucify me for those comments. Again, in-game abilities. Here and we this go. year, we've added a pair. Oh God, no. A pair of new ones and updated the existing suite. The two new X factors are Trevor Zegris's Skilled Up, which lets you recreate his viral flip. No pass over the net and Sarah nurses relentless which increases your ability to shoot and pass while off balance no 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 we've also been working on retaining and balancing the existing abilities and improving the underutilized ones and how they line up with the more popular ones no the diving one a hundred percent is going to be abused I can already tell um man if if they if if the trevor zegras and if his if his abilities the lacrosse and the flip if that becomes more frequent because of that trait there's going to be massive problems like if, if you can do it like once or twice a game it, like i don't know how i don't know how it's going to work still but if it great if it greatly increases the champ what does it say let's go back a little bit Okay, well, greatly increases the ease. I guess we're going to have to see, like, how greatly it, like, that is, that's, that's problematic. That's, that's problematic. That is, and they added Sarah Nurse's Relentless. I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I like. No, I, I know exactly how I feel about it. I, I don't like it. It's it. Uh, I don't like X factors to begin with. They just heat seeker. Just, you know, one T like it's not necessary. And it's not necessary in sixes. Just. Yeah, I, 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 I guess we'll see how it plays out, but I can tell relentless is going to be a problem. Um diving around after getting laid out great defensive play it's gonna make hard defense harder you know that's that's a big issue but okay let's see what they got ai this year we focused on updating our ai's goaltending and teammate awareness abilities okay. AI goalies will now have access to more tools than ever with over 300 new save animations that were previously only available to human goalies, adding more authenticity to their role. More animations. We also address the fundamentals, like improving goalie intelligence and ensuring we're rewarding okay. proper positioning and puck. If they're saying goalie intelligence is going to increase because of the AI, I'm fine with it, okay? I'm fine with it. Um, I wonder how this is going to impact actual goaltending play. I dabbled in goaltending a few seasons and um you know having like access to that kind of animations i don't know if this is just going to be an ai thing or like is it going to translate to humans you know the ai and you know how it works like it the human controlled goalies are positioned by humans but at the end of the day the ai still uh, makes some animations for you you don't manually make a blocker save or a glove save every time like when it's coming you you just stand in the way and you know you have to position yourself correctly so hopefully this helps goalies you know more animations may be a scary thought but if there is some intelligence towards it as they're saying here it could improve gameplay for goaltenders tracking 
And in an update to AI skaters, they'll now gesture to indicate when a player is open and which player is yeah, that's most pretty dangerous cool. when on the defensive side. They'll also lift their stick to show when they're taking a line change. Yeah, but these moments all lead to more authentic on-ice interactions and dynamic gameplay. Okay. Based on your feedback on NHL 22, we reworked pass assist, reducing the number of times you'll feel like you're completely off target. Okay, I'm happy with that. And out of vision passing. And to balance that, we're improving the ability to intercept or disrupt those passes if you're well positioned. Okay, but good. The defensive player will still be able to pass the puck behind the defender if they're positioned good. well, so the defenders won't act like a brick wall. We've also heard your feedback around poke checks. So we reduced player movement speed while in the defensive skill stick and decreased the effectiveness of poke checks when che There you go. So no, no more of that poke check remain the same speed. Apparently, I, I heard conflicting reports. Sometimes the poke check speeds you up, but also sometimes it slows you down. So I'm not sure which one's which. I, I think it's more it slows you down, but still, you when you do a poke check motion, you do go a lot quicker, so... I'm glad to see that's nerfed a little bit. Chasing. I think defense, you're going to have a tough time. You got to be in position perfectly if you're going to defend well. This game looks like a. it's going to be... It looks like we're going to see maybe some scoring records based on... <laughs> based on the trailer so far. Or in a poor position. In addition, we increased puck carrier speed to create more separation between players and oh. ensure that the fastest skaters in the league act like it. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be back in September. That, okay, that, that last little bit could be concerning. Um, it, I, it, again, I feel like defenders are going to have a tougher time just based on this trailer. Defenders, they improve goaltending to cancel it out, I guess. So we'll see. We'll see how it all balances out. Let's just finish the video. September to showcase more NHL 23 gameplay, presentation, game modes, and hockey ultimate team. More game modes. Yay. Can't wait for 24 eliminators. You guys want to play 24s where there's it's 24 V 24 on the ice. You know, I, I don't know. Um, definitely some concerning moments in the trailer. Um, but there's some positives too. I guess I think the beta comes out today actually. So we're going to have to see how it plays and get feedback based on it. I, I guess I'll play it too. Um, you know, I guess my biggest concern is probably the traits to do skilled moves greatly increases. Like how greatly, like what, like how greatly am I going to be able to do it? Like every third attempt, every fourth attempt, because then it's just gonna, and do, do goalies have counters for it as well? Like if you're doing the lacrosse move, I would hope the goaltender has a, 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 a move to cancel that out or the skater, you know? And relentless. If you're going to be laid out completely, are you going to still be able to make a play? That is a problem. But the little bumps, you know, that's that's okay. The little bumps, you know, making a play off of them and maintaining puck control. I like that. I like that. No more bump and then you, you lose the puck and it's swept up and it goes back the other way. That's fine. Um, you know, poke check speed. It's good. It, it needs to be more skill base now um but there's some positives there's some negatives in this trailer at the end of the day we'll see how it all plays out on the ice um thanks for watching guys if you like this video hit like if you liked it a lot you could subscribe as well i'll try releasing some more videos in the future until uh we'll see you guys next time i guess Take it easy.